Okay. Well, welcome back to my channel. I really need to give you a life update. Here goes nothing, I guess. If you couldn't tell by my social media, uh, I am back in California. We did break up, we're okay. Yeah, there's not really much else to say. God, how do I even... I don't know how much I'm gonna cut out of this. I went through this video so many times in my head, how I was gonna do it, what I was gonna say. Right now that there's a camera in front of my face, I'm going blank. I haven't picked up my camera in like over a month. I've just been having so much anxiety about it. I don't really know what else to say besides I just hope you can respect me, respect her. Um, yeah, I wish nothing but the best for her. Yeah, there's just nothing else um, that I wanna put out there besides my now healing journey and what i'm feeling yeah i just hope you can respect that i'm back in california i'm going to be with my family for a little bit um again and you guys know how many times i've already came back to my parents house um and to be honest i was a little bit embarrassed about it for um a while but i mean i'm so grateful and fortunate to be able to still come back here and that there's space for me and just a little bit about what I'm feeling right now is just I realized that I had so much growing to do on my own I just really want to learn about myself and I know I know some people say that you can do that in a relationship and for some people that can work great for me personally I knew that I couldn't do that and I knew there was just so much for me to learn about just life in general and I needed to do that solo, unfortunately. And I am heartbroken and I am sad, of course, but I knew that that is what I needed to do. I'm turning 24 this year and I'm super young still. By each moment that was going by, I was just thinking about myself and love that I needed to put into myself because honestly I don't love myself how I know I need to. That's really sucky to realize but I'm really grateful that I have the space to do that and god I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm just saying a whole bunch of gibberish but I just need to put a lot of love into myself and even though i don't put everything out there i put enough out there to where you guys know when i love i give literally everything in my body and i just need to give all the love i have into myself and although i feel like it is not enough right now um i know i'm going to get better every day and learn to be happy with being alone and content with just spending time with myself um, I think I expressed all that I could say. Um, I know what direction I want to go in. I know the end goal, but I don't know how I'm going to get there. I'm just excited to bring you on this journey and learning more about me and letting you guys in on learning everything there is about me and what I want to do. And I'm terrified, but... I'm excited that we get to do this together. I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of love into myself right now today. I want to clean up my hair a little bit. I know that makes me happier because when I feel fresh, look fresh, um, I feel a little bit better. We're gonna take care of my skin, relax, and yeah, just put a little love into myself tonight because uh, God knows I need it. Honestly, I haven't really cried and I don't know why I want to in this moment um, before I get up from the seat. I know I've been getting a lot of questions or I've been getting a lot of comments about people saying love isn't real and you guys look so happy and love very much is real because lo love is very much there. But we're just all separate individual people and sometimes the path that we are on separately don't really align how we want them to and that's just life sometimes but love is very much real and it was very much there and yeah that is that is how i want to end this little segment of the update just because that ended doesn't mean everything's over um although sometimes it may feel like it i'm just very grateful for everything that i learned in that chapter in my life and i'm so excited for how beautiful life is going to be when um, I put all that love into myself. So 
there we go. Let's <laughs> let's go put some love into myself right now and try and put myself together. My hair, I've been trying to grow it out. This is it. I've been so extremely stressed that um, my grays are starting to even come up here. My grays are usually just on the sides. Um, but I've just been so <laughs> anxious and stressed about my life right now that I guess I'm just getting some more grays up top. But it's okay. I even bought, actually, some gray coverage because uh, I actually get a lot of comments about my gray hair. And for a second, just a second, I was insecure about it for a little bit. But I'm just going to embrace it and leave it be because I don't want to keep revying it over and over again. And when it starts popping through, I don't want to keep getting insecure about it over again. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep the grays going. <sighs> Whatever comments you guys have about it, it's just my genetics. I don't really know what to tell you. My mom started getting her grays young. I started young and yeah, there's not really much else I could do about it. It just comes with the stress. How do I want to clean up my hair? It's not so bad. I just want to clean it up around here. So let's figure out how I'm going to do that. All right, here we go. Um, my hair is just getting way too thick. I have so much hair. So I just put on the biggest guard I have, which is eight. And I'm just going to go all the way around and hope for the best. So... Let's see how well I do. I've been attempting to cut my hair on and off since like 2019. I'm still not the best, but I've been slowly, very slowly getting better. So. I took off so much more hair than I wanted, but let's just keep going and see if I can fix it. I don't know if it's the best lighting right now. Don't mind all of the hair on me. I don't have a cape. It's honestly not bad. And I, it feels so much lighter. And yeah, I like it. But I need to shower because the hair on me is absolutely insane. Let me go do that and then we'll do my skincare. I just blow dry my hair a little bit. I'm gonna put in this wave spray. Let's see how my hair dries. I'm actually... A little nervous now that I took a shower. And the tiniest bit of Rizzo's Curls Curl Defining Cream. I have no curls. It's the slightest wave. I hate when um, I don't do any of these products and my hair is just a little bit too straight. These products help me a little bit. Just gonna let it dry, slick back. I look super dry right now. I really just wash my face with any face wash. I know for other people, it really depends on uh, some irritate their skin. I really need, should find one that hydrates my skin a little bit more because my skin is a little bit more dry, but I mean, any face wash really works for me. As well as any moisturizer. And at night, I ha really have not been doing many things. I know when I don't do my skincare, I feel a little bit bad about not keeping up with myself. Just putting the time in to doing anything, even if you have just two steps into your skincare routine, um, I feel like it really boosts you up. It just makes you feel cleaner, better, and you're just putting some love into yourself, so. Just some glow drops. And um, while I was in the shower, and now that I finally picked up the camera and started to just talk, I definitely feel way better, honestly. I didn't think I would. I thought that I'd be scared. And when I upload this, I'm definitely gonna be a little bit nervous. Um, I try not to care what other people think. Of course, it's a little nerve wracking still. Yeah, I was just thinking about how lucky I am to have such a, literally the greatest supporters ever. I know that other people notice that too. I have a really, really good support team, all of you, so thank you. And last is just some chapstick, always. Just a last little thought before I end this video. This doesn't even have to do with 
relationships with your significant other. Just look at anyone around you, family. It is okay to be selfish sometimes. Being selfish doesn't always have to mean a bad thing. I have a problem with just, even if I'm not at my best, I will literally drop anything and just be there for you the best way I can in that moment. And if that is you, you would just slowly lose yourself and eventually have nothing else to give. Now, this is my <laughs> journey of just putting all that attention into myself. I'm trying not to feel guilty for doing that, but I know that that's what I need to do. And yeah, I think that that is it for this video. I really have nothing else to say. Now that I have cleaned up my hair a little bit, um, did my skincare for the night because I haven't really been doing it. I feel like being in front of the camera is keeping me more accountable. I also need to start eating better, stay more consistent in the gym. How I really, really enjoy the gym. It's just hard for me to put that time into myself. But hopefully with you guys watching, um, I will continue to keep myself accountable and hopefully you guys can push me a little bit because I need that. And this was a little bit of a sad-ish video. I'm, of course, not the happiest in this moment, but um, I know that I will be. This is a little bit of a therapy for me, not gonna lie, just blurting out any thoughts that comes into my head to you. <laughs> Hopefully this felt like a little FaceTime call between me and you. I missed you, and yeah, let's just see what we can accomplish together. I hope... You guys will still stick around. Continue to just support me in any way. I love you and I will see you in the next video. I promise it won't be as down as this one, but uh, yeah, I just felt like I needed to update you with what's going on with me and let's just keep going together. I love you. See you in the next video.